Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Effects Loop. I'm your host, Jay Byrne. And this week's going to be a bit of a talky one. Um, I held off on doing this for a while because I didn't want to seem like I was trying to ride the coattails of other popular YouTubers. Like I didn't really want to like mention them in my videos and tag them and all this stuff to kind of like to try to ride their success. I just wanted to do things on my own. But I, I felt after thinking about it that, you know, this is kind of an important subject because, I mean, I've talked about my influences musically, I've talked about like movies and all that kind of stuff, and these other guitar YouTubers that I'm gonna talk about today, actually, today's subject matter is going to be um, what are some of my favorite guitar YouTubers. Um, there's no real order to this. This is, there's no tiering going on here. This is literally just the list that I have here. I'm not doing the top five or anything like that. This is literally just going to be what I think, who, who I think are some of the best ones. And you know, I'm not gonna have a lot to say about each one, but it's gonna be a list and I'm gonna say, hey, I like this guy because, I like this guy because. Maybe I'll mention somebody that somebody out there hasn't heard of and turn them on to their channel, which is cool, you know? I'm not going to show any clips from each one of these channels because I don't want to deal with copyright issues or issues with these guys. Uh, I might throw like a logo or like a, you know, a thumbnail in the corner so you can get an idea of who I'm talking about, but that'll be probably as far as I go with that. All right, so this first one I have on the list here is, um, I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's like, it's Stitch Pie 42. I Stitch Pie 42. Um, this is um, Henning Pauly. He, uh, he, I think he, I think he's German. I think he, he bases out of the UK. I know some of these are out of the UK. It's hard to tell because a lot of these things are from the UK. He talks, a, he has tons of gear and he does a lot of reviews and talks about, um, basically most of his stuff is review, is gear review. And you'll notice some of this, some of these guys are gear review. Some of these guys just talk general stuff, kind of mix it up a little bit. It's kind of what you have to do if you're in this situation. But uh, yeah, I, I dig his channel, Henning Pauly's channel. And he does uh, this thing called Gear Street 42, which is kind of cool um, as well. Uh, and I, I just remembered I have one that's not, uh, one that I forgot to list on here, Glenn Fricker, which I, I like him too. Uh, and I watch him. His is uh, Spectre Sound, which is kind of like a metal themed channel, which is pretty awesome. I, I like that one. But yeah, I stitch uh, Pi 42. It's mostly gear reviews. But I like his sense of humor and his dryness and the way he does things and I don't know. It's cool. He always puts animals at the end of his videos. It's kind of fun. Uh, all right. This is a new, a newer guy that I've, I've been finding around. His name is Mike Cole. All right. And he, he had a lot of little shorts that were um, like these little like goof off, little joke type shorts that were like a minute long. The, you know, about playing guitars and stuff like that. He's been doing some more long form content, a lot of stuff, you know, based on katana and guitars and stuff like that. And I've really been enjoying his content. And I, th I think it's, it's a lot of fun and I, I like his demeanor. He's, he's got a nice person, he's got a good personality from what I can tell when I'm watching it. But yeah, he's, he's a cool one, Mike Cole. I've mentioned Music is Win before. Music is Win is pretty awesome. And um, he's a pretty big one. He gets a, I think he's got a lot of subscribers and he does a lot of commentary on other videos, and he was also doing these uh, these fun videos where he was teaching his wife how to play guitar. Those were kind of cool. So you might want to check those out. This is an obvious one. I think we all know JHS pedals. I mean, that's kind of one of the bigger ones out there. But JHS pedals are a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun to watch those guys because they're just a bunch of goofballs and they have, they have fun doing what they're doing. Yeah, Josh Scott from JHS. He, he... This guy is like an encyclopedic knowledge of pedals. So if you're interested in pedals in any way, shape, or form, he's one to definitely think about. And thinking about pedals, talking about pedals, okay, we got That Pedal Show. That Pedal Show, those guys are pretty awesome, and I like watching both of those. Uh, and uh, I've, I've watched a lot of episodes of That Pedal Show. That wasn't even on my list, but it's just a train of thought and kind of coming off the top of my head. So That Pedal Show was one. That was a good, that's a good one. And of course, JHS is cool, and they do a lot of just like fun, goofy stuff. I mean, JHS has been controversial because they've actually been responsible for driving up the prices of some cheaper, lower pedals, but I don't think it's intentional. I, it's just, 
Josh Scott likes to he likes to talk about pedals, and that's what he does. And so he makes videos about pedals, and you know if people take that in their own way, if they're using his information to drive the market, what are you gonna do, right? All right, uh, Casino Guitars is really cool. I don't know uh, how many people watch these guys. It's just two guys. They usually just sit there and they just talk and they just pick a random subject and they joke around a little bit. And um, uh, one guy's name is Baxter. He, he, he's kind of fun to watch. Um, his hair is crazy. It's like all over the place all the time. But I think that's his thing. He just likes to <laughs> kind of has this Lynchian thing going on with his hair. But it's 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 fun. Um, I enjoy watching those guys. They just they just they just kind of pick random subject matters and talk about it. They do run their own uh, shop, like a guitar shop. A lot of these places that have guitar stores, I'd love to go check them out. I mean, if I'm ever in the area, I'll definitely check out some of these places. But uh, yeah, Casino Guitars is a good one. That's one to check out if you just, you know, want to listen to somebody ramble on. I mean, you're listening to me, so maybe it's, this is what you like to do. So I can ramble, they can ramble, we can all ramble. How's that? Um, Dylan Talks Tone. I've been watching him a lot lately. He, uh, he has his own... Um, he makes his own pedal, uh, uh, pickups and stuff like that. They, that's kind of like, I guess his main thing is where they, they make pickups and stuff, but he also does these, uh, he does a lot of, uh, live streams lately. And, um, he has quite a few videos out there as well, where he's, you know, done some gear reviews and he tears down the instruments and shows you like how things are made and, and how they work. And I, I've gotten a lot from his channel actually. And I like his honesty because he's pretty straightforward. He'll tell you how it is. And I, I, I appreciate that. And I try to do that as much as humanly possible. Um, because I mean, at this point, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so I don't need to like kiss anybody's butt. I mean, if I tell you I like something, I like something. If I tell you I don't like something, I don't like something. Sometimes I think I like something and then in the end, I end up not liking it. I'm a human being, right? It's the way it works. Um, Dave Simpson is freaking cool. I like Dave Simpson. Um, he's, uh, he has a, a band called the Dave Simpson Trio. And uh, he tends to focus on a lot of solid state gear, which is what kind of got me into him because he's one of the few guys that is just mostly about solid state gear. And I mean, I learned a lot about quite a few of the amps I tried through watching his channel. And uh, he's kind of a goofy, fun guy. And he also does stuff with uh, another channel that I'm gonna be mentioning soon here, Anderton's. I, I like watching Anderton's. Anderton's is pretty cool. Anderton's Music Company. And uh, they're actually uh, an actual guitar, a huge like guitar store based out of the UK. And they do a lot of fun videos where they're just like, you know, a lot of their videos are advertisements for gear, but they have a way of making it fun where it's just entertaining. They find, you know, they find some, a niche, they find a way to do it that's, makes it entertaining. So, um, Ask Zach. If any of you guys have ever watched Ask Zach, that's pretty good. His thing is, uh, he's a big, he's, it's country music. And I mean, it's just him talking to a camera most of the time. And he focuses on, you know, deluxe reverbs and Fender amps. And he's a big Telecaster guy. Like that's kind of his thing is Telecasters. So it's kind of fun to listen to him talk about Telecasters and Fender amps and stuff like that. And I've gotten a lot out of him base, a lot of information out of him about Fender amps and that kind of stuff. Um, Another one here, uh, Riff Beards and Gear. That one's cool. Um, uh, I think his name is Ryan. No, he calls himself Fluff. So he that's like his nickname all the time. But uh, yeah, I like watching his stuff. Specifically, I like he, he does these uh, like like um, kind of rating gear videos, like you know, rate your gear kind of thing. And he also does. Um, these reverb listing videos. I like to watch those very specifically. Those, those are fun to see like what people are trying to get like $10,000 for is, is hilarious sometimes. Um, I really like 60 cycle hum. 60 cycle hum is a cool one. Um, uh, Ryan is the guy who uh, runs that channel. And what I like about him and he was kind of a pretty big influence on me doing my own channel is he focuses on the more inexpensive gear. He te I mean, he's got what his what he calls his affordable board, where he was making this pedal board out of cheap pedals, but he gives the inexpensive gear a chance. I mean, sometimes it doesn't always, you know, hit the mark, but he's willing to give it a shot, you know. 
And he's, I don't know, he's like his demeanor. He's a funny guy to watch and he's, you know, got a nice demeanor and stuff like that. So I, I enjoy watching his stuff. His stuff is really cool. And he does a podcast, the 60 Cycle Hum podcast, which he does with uh, his friend. Here we go into two of the bigger ones now. We're into kind of like my final stage of, of my list here of the ones that I watch regularly. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you this tons that I watch, but these are, these are the ones that I, I, I watched regularly. I really like Philip McKnight, No You Gear. I think he's just very down to earth, kind of, I don't know, if, if there's anybody out there that I can, I feel like, like a similarity to as far as myself and the way that I do things, I think it would be with him because his type, his channel is very, uh, he talks about a lot of technical stuff because he's, he's a guitar tech and he fixes amps and guitars and stuff. And that, I guess that's his main job. But he also talks about gear and about the industry and he does reviews. Doesn't do a ton of reviews, but he, he, he does a lot of commentary on the industry and on gear. And he does a lot of uh, live streams. And I find myself having his live streams on all the time. Funny thing is, is he's got so many of them that it doesn't matter what you're watching guitar related. If you just let it play one of his live streams will just pop up all of a sudden it'll just be on because there's so many of them this is the guitar youtuber that and it's probably pretty obvious and people are going to be like oh, okay yeah that one's obvious but uh Rhett shell was the one who kind of got me into this whole thing in a weird way because i started watching Rhett shell's uh backstage vlog videos he and he had he was doing those for a while and it didn't seem like there was a lot of viewers at that point this was quite a few years back so when i first started watching these guitar videos and i was like oh these are cool this is really cool i liked you know just watching other bands and seeing what was going on and then i noticed he started doing pedal demos and all that stuff and i've seen his channel really blow up over the past couple of years to the point now where he's got major sponsorships and he's building his own studio and but I like that he started out as just some regular dude that wanted to play guitar and, you know, went to school for guitar and ended up being in all these bands. I guess these, a lot of these guys, are, quite a few of these guys are based out of Nashville. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, Noah Guthrie, and I think it's Noah Guthrie and Bad Trouble, I think is the name of the band, is really cool. <clears throat> um, and that's his, I, I think, like his main band, but he's kind of a session guitarist and he works with a lot of other people. And I, I enjoy his videos. I just, you know... I really enjoy his videos. I I like his candor. He to me he seems like he's pretty honest. I know if you go on websites like the gear page and stuff like that, which I won't totally bash because there's a lot of good information on the gear page. Although there are it seems to be a lot of people who just like to trash everything on that site. But you can get a pretty honest opinion about something that you're looking for because because there's so much negativity on that site it's not all positive. Like you can, you, you, you get to read the negative sides of things too, but sometimes it's too much negativity, but you know, I'm not going to bash it. it. It's a good resource. I think I'm not officially like signed on. I, I don't have an account with them or anything like that, but I do go on there and I read a lot um, of stuff when I'm researching for new gear. And uh, I mean, they have issues with him. You know, they call him Rhett shill because they figure he's just a shill for these guitar companies and all that stuff. And he has a pretty good association with JHS. Like they've done a lot of things together. Honestly, I think I've covered like every freaking YouTuber. I mean, there's so many of us out there though. I mean, that's not true because there's so many of us out there. There's hundreds of guitar YouTubers. It's a bit of a saturated market. So I don't know why I was stupid enough to think that, you know, <laughs> doing this would uh, get me some attention. But um, you know what? It's cool. If anybody's paying attention, I'm happy. I'm not one of these guys who needs to have millions of followers. I'm happy with the way it is. If it works out that way, great. But I'm not making a big deal. But okay, so that's it. That's my video for this week. It's not too crazy, but I did want to talk about these guys because I feel like these guys have really been a big influence in the way I do things and why I do what I do and what I've been doing, being a guitar YouTuber. I do want to make a quick mention that... Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into this, but I've been kind of doing this eBay reselling thing because I, I've been downsizing some of my collection, my movies and my books and stuff like that. And, um, and I don't have a ton of stuff up. I mean, I'm trying to get like 50, 60, maybe 100 items up there. And uh, it's what? It's J-A-Y-B cool stuff. J-B cool stuff. 
on eBay. If you're, if anybody out there is interested, because you guys see my movies and all my stuff hanging around all the time in my videos, if you're any interested in maybe picking up some of the stuff I'm trying to sell off, it's all in great shape. I took care of my stuff. It's my collection has been mo my thing for most of my life. So, but yeah, JB cool stuff. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. Uh, but the eBay reseller thing, there's a freaking rabbit hole you can go down as well. Um, we'll see how that works out. But anyway, if you like these kind of videos, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know about your favorite guitar YouTubers. I mean, maybe there's some that I, I'm sure there's a lot I didn't mention that I would love to like check out, you know, because I'm always trying to find somebody new that that's interesting to watch because I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, please subscribe. Maybe someday I can be in one in the list with these big guys. But um, anyway, yeah, my name is Jay Byrne, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, check out these guys, check out these other guitar YouTubers. They have great channels. It's a lot of fun stuff to watch, a lot of information out there. So uh, take care, and I will see you next time. <laughs>